Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to add sound to a silent video like this. If you work with video and sound, whether you are a sound designer, editor, filmmaker or a content creator, you're probably used to spending hours searching for background audio, syncing it manually and trying to make it all fit just right. This is the exact type of workflow that slows down creativity. But what if you could start with a video like this and in minutes have high quality ambient sound that's already synced to the ambience, no dragging, cutting or matching needed. That's what Krotos Video to Sound is built for. Here is how it works. Just upload your video to Video to Sound. It runs directly in your browser, so there is nothing to install. The system analyzes the visuals and, and automatically adds background ambience that matches the environment. Cafes, streets, forests, nature, all from real recordings, not synthetic AI. You will get your first video process completely free, up to five minutes long. After that, you can upgrade uh, to Croto Studio Pro or Croto Studio Max, depending on how often you use it. Once the analysis is done, you will get a few things. A stereo mix here that is ready to drop straight into your project. A video you can download from here uh, with already audio included and four separate stems that you can tweak, remix or build on. I'm going to download them all so I can add them on my project on Cubase. Now let's take those stems into Cubase. Different tracks. And let's hear the results. I'm going to put just the mix channel, which include all these four different layers, and then I'm going to edit them accordingly. So let's listen now the results of video to sound. Uh, we're going to listen to the mix channel. So here's when you start to feel that you're saving time, actually. The Abin already fits the timing of every scene. Whether you are adding or designing is a solid start point and it's flexible. You can layer your own elements on top of that, swap sound or build a full mix around it. So now I have four stems and I can go and mix them as I like. I can decrease the volume in one of them or I can even mute it on a specific spot that I think is not necessary. You can treat those stems however you like, EQ them or add a little bit of reverb if needed, make some panning, uh, depends on the scene of course. And because everything is based on real recordings, it feels very naturally right away. It's not about the speed, it's about starting from a place that is already sounding professional and spending more time on the creative uh, decisions that you want to make. You can add some extra layers, uh, like the vocals that are going to be there, you can add footsteps or any kind of movement of the person on the screen. So after some edit I did and a little bit of mixing, I only use these four layers. This one is muted at the moment. And here is the final resort the results. Let's hear it.
even though the the cuts feel polished, which is a huge win for uh, creators and editors, and for sound designers, this becomes the foundation you can build your full mix on. If you're looking for faster, more efficient way to start your sound design process, Krotos Video to Sound is worth trying. No plugins, no downloads, no endless scrolling through libraries. Just upload, customize and get back to being creative. Your first video is free. You can try, I put the link below. Thanks for watching.